To write the name for PbBr2, the first thing we need to realize is that lead, that's a metal, then bromine, that's a nonmetal. Metal and nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. Specifically, this lead is a transition metal. So we have an ionic compound with a transition metal. We're going to use these rules here to write the name for PbBr2. First, we write the name for the metal, just as it appears on the periodic table. Pb, that's lead. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal. So Br, that's bromine, lowercase b. And then we take, we cross out the ending and replace it with IDE. So at this point, we have lead bromide. But we said that Pb is a transition metal. So for a transition metal, we've really got to look at what it's bonded to to figure out its charge. It can have different charges. So here it's bonded to bromine. Bromine, when it forms bonds, ionic bonds, it has a 1 minus ionic charge. We have two of these, 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Lead has to be 2 plus. And we show that in the name by writing the Roman numeral 2 and putting parentheses around it. So the name for PbBr2 is lead 2 bromide. Note that sometimes this is called lead dibromide, but the official name for PbBr2 is lead 2 bromide. If you're given this name and you need to write the formula, you know the lead has a 2 plus ionic charge because you'll see the 2 here. Then bromine always has a 1 minus ionic charge, so you'll need two of these bromine ions, these bromide ions, to balance out the lead. This is Dr. B with the name for PBBR2. Thanks for watching.